What's going on there, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, I stand. And I hope you lot are all doing well. Namaste. Welcome to the channel, man. Welcome to the Chelsea news video. Well, actually, Chelsea transfer news video talking about one player, the potential Jorginho replacement should he leave Stamford Bridge come the summer. Hussam Awa of Leon, the guy who's just smashed a wicked Champions League winning assist against Juventus a superb midfielder all around who actually loads of elite European clubs want has been heavily linked to Chelsea today. I'm going to cite the report that's linking Chelsea to the player in this video, read you out some of that and also tell you some of his amazing statistics and why he would be an excellent signing and pretty much hopefully convey to you guys this guy's an amazing player. So before I get into the good gear, quick reminder to you lot to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet done so, please do sub, hit that bell and notifications icon because that is important. Why not like this video to help me out and follow me on Instagram to hang out with me on Instagram lives and talk about Chelsea and football, etc. All right, let's get into it. Actually, let me tell you about his metrics and stats before I tell you about the links. So you can kind of get a gauge of who I'm talking about here before I show you or tell you, cite to you, read out the news article that's linking Chelsea to the player and then we can speculate about Jorginho's exit afterwards and if he'd be a good replacement and a good addition to Frank Lampard's Chelsea Football Club. So here we go boys and girls, Hussam Awa, a central midfielder for Lyon in Ligue 1, he plays in the centre of the park and also left centre mid, attacking midfielder, very very young, 21 years old, uh, 70 kilos, quite lightweight but more of a cultured tech technical attacking player, France International. Right, so on who scored? He's got a 7.73 rating in the Champions League this season. So before you start giving me the league uh, stuff about it being like a low level competition, opposition, whatever league, he's absolutely killing it in the Champions League in terms of his performances. He's got two man of the match performances in the Champions League already from central midfield. Dude is killing it at the highest level. In the Champions League, he's got a goal and three assists in five appearances, four goal contributions in five appearances from central midfield in the Champions League. We're already talking about elite levels of performance here from a midfielder. Pass percentage as well is very high. It's just shy of 86%. And in League 1, so this is his league stats, he has three goals and four assists this season already so that is seven league goal contributions from midfield and he has a man of the match award as well so he does seem like he gets goals and assists man of the matches and stuff what's he like defensively Jan I hear you ask I think well he's all right in the Champions League this season he makes 2.8 tackles and interceptions per game which is a pretty superb and he makes just shy of two in the league but for an attacking central midfielder you know it's like Mason Mount making loads of defensive actions, do you know what I mean? But certainly he chips in. Right, offensive and metrics, this is where it gets naughty. So yeah, we know he's got a few goals and assists. He's actually got nine goals and seven assists across all competitions this season. In the Coupe de France, he's got three goals. In the Coupe de la Ligue, he's got two goals. Obviously, three goals in Ligue 1 and a goal in the Champions League. And he's got seven assists across the league and the Champions League. Dude takes nearly two shots per game in the league, 1.2 in the Champions League. He makes one key pass per game in the league and in the Champions League, 1.6. He's been very, very creative in the Champions League, hence his score being so high. But wait, there's more. Like Mateo Kovacic, he loves to carry the ball with a dribble. 2.7 dribbles per game from central midfield in the league. Very impressive weight for this. 4.2 dribbles per game in the Champions League. Remember, the Champions League is the bar, the highest level here. 4.2 dribbles per game. That's like if Hazard gets that, he's happy, do you know what I mean? That's like a Dharma Traore level of dribbles. And he's not a winger, he's a central midfielder. He's an attacking midfielder, he plays down the middle. So he probably would play in front of Kovacic um, at times maybe. So if Kovacic is you know, carrying the ball, dribbling from deeper, gives it to uh, Hussein, we can carry it more. Basically, loads of dribbling from midfield is hugely productive, especially in this Chelsea side, we've seen it. Okay, so let me just talk about where this has come from. This has come from a publication called Tuto Macabo, hold on, <laughs> Tuto Mercato Web, which I think is Italian. <laughs> So they're saying Chelsea are keen on Leon midfielder Hussein Awa and are prepared to 
would pay 50 million euros for the Frenchman. A lot of money, but if he's really like that highly rated around world football and everyone wants him, it's just the going rate now. What's that, like 40 million pounds or something? Not sure what the exchange rate is. Still about normal. So this is quote, Chelsea have the player in their sights and they would like to raise the pressure on Juventus who are also interested in the move. These reporters are saying they know Chelsea's very serious about the players and they're ready to table a bid and make the move to try and put pressure on Juventus. Which is interesting that Juventus wants the player as well because Juventus want Jorginho. Starting to see a loop here. Chelsea could easily make 50 million euros for Jorginho, probably 60 million euros plus, which would easily play for Hussein Awa. So yeah, it implies Awa could be a replacement for Jorginho, even though he'd be more of an attacking midfielder by the sounds of it. TMW, that's a nice abbreviation, so I don't have to try and say the bloody newspaper name. So again, they're just reiterating, Chelsea are serious about the 21-year-old and they're ready to put the bid in of 50 million. Leon are not likely to be keen on losing their star man, according to L'Equipe, but they will know it will be difficult to hold him this summer. Well, when you're performing that good in the Champions League, mate, they're all gonna come sniffing around you. It's just how it works. So yeah, he's starting a bunch of performances. He's scoring goals, he's making assists, he's making tackles, putting in defensive work, carrying the ball and dribbling through midfield at the age of 21, a very technical and bright young star. Now, Man City won him, Juventus won him, Chelsea won him, to name a few. So the Juventus one's interesting. If Chelsea, I like Jorginho. I think he's a leader on the pitch. I think he is a very talented player on the ball. Granted, he's not great off the ball, down to pace. He hasn't got the best turning circle. Um, obviously, you can do like these little cutbacks, which are good, but unlike, you know, the way Kovacic plays out of the press, he can't do that. Uh, Hussein would be more like Kovacic in that sense. So, although I want Jorginho to stay at Chelsea, I, if he does get sold to Sarri and Juventus for a big amount of money, bringing in a player like this would certainly look very positive in terms of helping the attack, helping the offense moving forwards, that kind of thing. Obviously, if it's true that Manchester City are in for him, that's a huge, huge competitor. You know, people that go, a team rather, that goes for a title every season at the moment are, you know, Pep Guardiola, etc. But they're obviously going for a lot of controversy and troubles themselves at the moment. And if they are indeed found in breach of financial fair play, maybe they can't start spending 50 million euros on a new player. Do you know what I mean? So Chelsea might be in a strong position to acquire this player should they desire. And this report is saying they very, very much desire this player. Like, it's an interesting one for me because I know central midfield is absolutely not a problem position for Chelsea. It, even though this player looks special and it looks like it would be a superb investment in terms of his age and moving forwards and him performing on the greatest stage, the Champions League, Chelsea do need a left back. Maybe they need a central defender more. Maybe they need a winger more. Maybe they need a rotational striker more. Maybe even a starting striker. Do you catch my drift? But say if they can balance the books with a sale of a starting midfielder like Jorginho, Barkley goes, uh, you know, a few others, then maybe a central midfielder coming in is a possibility and this guy if he's doing it in the champions league at the highest level you know it's not a risk you can slot him in and he's gonna just be good he's gonna perform uh it's not gonna get to him it's all very well talking about tino andron uh, billy gilmore conor gallagher all these like chelsea youth products they haven't been tested on the champions league stage that's a huge test yeah, of mentality uh, and all that kind of stuff this young guy at 21 years old is showing he can do it against the best already so there's that anyway i want to get your guys thoughts and opinions on this player would you like to see him come to chelsea would you see him as a replacement for Jorginho? How would you feel about Jorginho going? Leadership's at premium at the moment and he does have leadership on the pitch. Um, I think that's important. If he goes, who else is, who's gonna be that player that's gonna stand up and command people? I'm not so sure. But at the same time, Hussein looks like a player that can actually get things done offensively um, and change games. So it's a weird one. Get down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this player and pretty much the transfers in midfield in Chelsea Football Club. If you've enjoyed this content today and me talking about the transfer, please do like the video. That means a lot. Why not? Subscribe to the channel if you're new and come follow me on social media, man. I'm going to do an Instagram live tonight, so come uh, follow me at Football Yannick and on Twitter as well, at Football Yannick. That's it for me, guys. You lot there, enjoy the football. Swing by football therapy every single day because, remember, I upload every single day and sometimes even twice a day. So, yeah, see you later. <laughs>
way so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chuck in my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I laugh me 